Hi, this is a demonstration of software piracy protection project. So this is a system that uh, avoids software piracy by using a, an innovative strategy. So usual uh, piracy protection measures include uh, using a CD. Each time the user wants to use the software, he has to insert a CD or using a pen drive type key or other such strategies. So we here propose a system which is a quite unique one, even the key system that uh, is available. So if the user copies the particular key from the web and enters it, the software gets cracked and the user can use it. Uh, so what this system does is this system uh, when we install our soft, this particular software on a particular PC, it uh, generates an ID, a particular ID uh, from the hardware address or MAC ID of that particular PC and it asks for a key based on that ID and the key is generated for by performing an uh, encryption on that ID itself. So uh, since every PC has a different ID, every PC has a different key. So there is no common key where a user can you know just copy any key and it uh, he can copy paste in all PCs. And a key that works for one PC will not work for another PC. Uh, it has to be generated according to that PC itself. Again, so let's see how the system works. This is our web portal demo web portal to demonstrate as uh, from here user can download the software now let's go to the download section and let's download the software this is a demo software we have prepared to demonstrate as a software so now this is the client application or this is the the demo software we have used to demonstrate the concept this is a demo video calling software so it consists of three functionalities chat call and video call so since we have downloaded the demo version the we assume that the customer has not yet uh, taken the serial key from the software provider so only chat functionality is available so this is just demo chat it doesn't really chat with someone and as you can see the call and video call functionality is not uh, available it has been blocked and it says please activate to unlock all features so you know we the user must now activate to click on activate to activate the software so on activate this is the customer id this is this customer id has been generated uh, generated on the uh, hardware id of the pc so this is unique for every computer the uh, person installs it on and based on this id it would be asking for the code so what the customer needs to do here is customer needs to copy this id and then uh, provide it to the admin and after providing to the admin the admin uh, has his own generator to you know generate the key and provide the code to the user so now we return to the this the online website here the user can, must come here and he can now click on the buy option so in the buy option uh, he needs to enter a credit card uh, CV code all his credit card details to buy the uh, software along with his customer ID so let's enter all the details here these are just uh, demo this is a demo credit card payment system here to demonstrate the concept we have provided a fixed amount so this is the ID of the customer he can provide it here and he can click on submit so when he clicks on submit this ID uh, along with his details uh, goes to the admin so as we saw after customer registered into it the details are saved into the system so now let's go, the, go to the admin section and let's fill in uh, the admin ID and password so as you can see your admin now gets the details of the customer and he can see the ID of the customer here so this is the key generator 
admin just needs to enter the ID of the customer and he gets the code so now he can you know using the email ID of the customer he can just send him the code so now we assume that the customer has got his uh, code through his email so what he needs to do he just needs to enter the code on his in his software and click submit so it says your product is now authorized so now when the customer views the page uh, as you can see the normal call as well as video call has been activated and the full version of the pro system can be used by the user and uh, you know if he uh, tries to enter the same key uh, in another system it won't accept it but because that system would have a different id which could be generated by that system's mac id and the hard or and the hardware id of that system so this is how software piracy protection project works thank you